Today is Chris Baker, Director of Business Development and Product Management for API. We're here today to do a demonstration of our new V-Probe. Our latest V-Probe design is 30% smaller than our previous V-Probe. It also has a different battery design, and we've built RFID chips into each one of our stylus for automatic tip recognition. During this video, we're going to be referencing our previous virtual demos on proper laser tracker setup, initial V-Probe setup, as well as tying into previous jobs and tracker relocation. If you have any questions on any of those, please feel free to look back into those on our website or on YouTube. We're gonna begin this demo assuming that our proper laser tracker setup has already taken place. In order to tie into this job, we're gonna use the permanent pucks that are already established on the part. Typically, you would set up your tracker to be able to use the SMR measurement as much as possible. However, during this demonstration, we wanna focus on the new V-Pro. Typically, when tying into these parts, we would use the 1.5 inch SMR in the pucks. However, to focus on the V-Probe, we're gonna be using the reset sphere that's equipped to handle the different tips for the V-Probe. The initial setup will begin by putting the batteries into the V-Probe. Once we have the batteries in, you'll turn the power on with the switch on top. Each V-Probe comes with a lens cover and we'll remove that also. When measuring with the V-Probe, we have two different stylus locations. We have one in a vertical position and one in the horizontal. For this particular demo, we're gonna use a 100 millimeter tip with a six millimeter ruby in our vertical location. In order to get the tracker ready for the measurement, we're gonna run a virtual level. The virtual level gives the V-Probe a point of reference that's needed for any kind of precision metrology equipment. Once we've established our virtual level, we'll connect the laser of the tracker to the V-Probe. Now that we're connected, we're gonna use the reset sphere I mentioned earlier to tie into the points on the part. Now that we've tied into the part using the V-Probe, we'll use our third-party software to tie our tracker into the part so that they're relative to each other and we can begin our measurement and inspection. Now that we've established a solid tie-in between our radian and our part, we're gonna begin our inspection. Our first inspection is gonna be a hidden hole location on top of the part. Now that we've gotten all the data from our hidden hole location, we're gonna do a dynamic scan of this blade surface. In order to do a dynamic scan, we simply hold the button down as we measure. In order to stop a measurement, all you do is let go of the button. One key thing to note is that you want to let go of the button prior to removing the tip from the surface of your part, otherwise you'll get false bad data from your report. In order to demonstrate the horizontal tip location, we're going to remove the stylus from the vertical position and put it into the horizontal. Once we have the stylus threaded into our horizontal position, we're going to locate these hole locations on the side of our part. In order to ensure the validity of the measurements that we've taken on the part, we're gonna go back to our original tie-in points and do a comparison. So 
So we'll take our reset sphere, put it back into the points, and record a few of the points that we've taken before. Since we only use four points, I'll actually compare all four of them. But typically you'll only do about two or three. If you do happen to lose the beam while you're using the V-probe, the camera on our tracker will automatically find it as long as it's within a 30 degree cone. Now that we've compared our final data versus our initial data to confirm that the tracker and the part are still relative to each other, we know that all of our data we recorded is valid. Thanks for watching our video. If you'd like to learn more or to schedule a demo, please reach out to us at apimetrology.com to speak to a real metrologist today.